the whole pipeline, the whole life cycle of AI requires a lot of energy and the amounts of energy are truly phenomenal. The hyperscale data centers, like the ones that have a lot of AI running on them, can use as much energy as a town, essentially. The data centers answering your AI questions are pulling a whole lot of electricity from local grids and a ton of water to stay cool. And the computers inside are made from rare earth metals that have to be mined out of the ground. There's limited data out there, but some big AI companies have given us at least some indication of the resources their AI systems use. In its latest environmental report, Google said the electricity consumed by its data centers grew 27% in 2024 compared to the year prior, although it said emissions were falling thanks to investments in clean energy and making its technology more efficient. OpenAI CEO Sam Altman has written that one ChatGPT query uses just about 0.34 watt hours, about what a high efficiency light bulb uses in a couple of minutes. But OpenAI also says that more than 2.5 billion messages are sent to ChatGPT daily. So if you do the math, every day ChatGPT is using enough energy to keep that light bulb running for more than 9,500 years. Google estimates the average text question to its chatbot Gemini uses slightly less, about 0.24 watt hours. Part of the challenge is that AI systems demand a lot more resources than earlier computing models. According to the studies that I ran on open source models, it's 30 times more energy for a generative model compared to a, an old school, like traditional model for a task like web search. We're still using Google, we're still using Bing. The fact that we're switching out tasks that were traditionally done in a, in a much more kind of efficient way with generative AI and then multiplied by the amount of people that uses these tools every day. That's what really worries me because the interfaces are the same, but the back end is so much more energy and resource intensive and we don't see that. So for consumers out there who are trying to be mindful about the impact of their AI usage, how do you go about that? I think that by default, a lot of AI models are quite verbose. So just like being very specific about what I'm looking for is a, like a single number or a single fact can be really useful. If you're having this long conversation and then at the end you say thank you, you're essentially asking it to take all of the context that came before and then just like one small token and then it responds, you're welcome. Use specific tools for specific tasks. So use a, a cookbook or a recipe website. Don't use ChatGPT. ChatGPT uses probably like 10,000 times more energy than a calculator or your phone. Same thing with a book or a simple web search. A good rule of thumb, if, if a model does a single task, it's going to use a lot less energy. For a lot of people, it's become chat GPT for just about anything. And that's where environmental costs add up. We should be using multiple platforms, multiple tools. And I think that that's a healthy practice to have as a user.